So, I will finish these. These Taoist immortals. They will oh. be done. Yes, we're going back to the immortals. Yeah, this I is wanted the Chinese to... immortals, right? Yes, the Taoist ones. Oh, Tao. Yeah, well, yeah, China, but specifically Tao, because there's like a billion different other religions, whatever. Right. Um. And I thought it was going to be able to do two today, but when I dug into this guy, it turns out he has a he has a lot, has a lot. Okay. <laughs> he has plot. So the, the other ones were less were light on plot. <laughs> so there's I remember the guy who refused to die, which is my favorite, just because he was stubborn, and he just like stubbornly became an. There's immortal. more death funny this time too. Okay, good. And that's why I love these guys. And there was a guy with like a teacher that was immortal. Anyway, yeah, I like these ones. <laughs> uh. Zhang Gao Lao. Okay. I'm just going to call him Zhang Lao because that's what I found online he could also be, even though I'm not, probably not saying any of these names right anyway. I They're know. phonetic. Anyway, <laughs> he's the old guy. He's like, he's like Santa Claus if he was anti-establishment. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> I'm... Uh, anyway. So, well, he wasn't always old, but, like, supposedly he was born... I should... I hope not. In prehist... Benjamin buttoned himself into mortality. <laughs> he he was supposedly born in prehistoric times. Mm-hmm. Or he makes jokes to that effect. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, is he, like, a Neanderthal or something like no, that? No, or... he's not. He's just really, really old. Born in prehistoric times. Okay. I mean, all of these immortals are probably really, really old, but he, like, looks at... So that's different? I don't know. All right, what's this guy's story? So, like, he begins life as a farmer boy, mm -hmm. doing farmer boy work things. Like you do. And he works for his farmer folks, selling farmer wares to townspeople, walking back and forth between the town and home with his donkey. So, like, that's his life. Okay. And it's kind of dull. And one day, he decides... I've been doing this work a while. I will I will take a nap on my way home from selling stuff. And he finds this old this old uh, abandoned monastery. Put a pin in that. Wait, he <laughs> finds a monastery while he's napping? No, he finds the monastery and then goes to nap there. <laughs> Wait, so he goes the same path every day and just so happens to come across the monastery? Like the fifth time he's done, or like the fifth. The monastery time isn't a thing. It's just there, and he takes a nap there because it's halfway to home. All right, I'm sorry, I'm getting stuck on this. Anyway, so later he wakes up from his nap and he smells food, and he goes to find out where the smell is coming from. And lo, mm. there's this cauldron of stew. And rather than the more rational assumption that this abandoned monastery isn't quite so abandoned as he thinks it is, he goes, wow, the gods have given me a gift of food. And he starts eating the stew. Okay. With... And this stew gives him a mortal life. Yes. Yes, I got one. Oh, I beat. Sorry. Yeah, but... Hello, you missed one because he also fed his donkey, and now his donkey's immortal too. Oh, <gasps> dude! Well, anyway, so the go the cook comes back, and he was actually an alchemist making an immortality potion, and you already knew you guessed that. Uh, okay. So he's like, "Oops." <laughs> Wait, I, what is this? But now I'm a, now I'm immortal, and now I and me and my donkey are divine, and, so, <laughs> and that's how he starts his life as immortal. This is the whole story. Hey, Shang Shen, Shang Hua, had to eat puke noodles. <laughs> puke noodles? Guy, yeah, and this guy stole food. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, like, okay, so, wait a minute. Can we, can we pause just a second? This guy, this alchemist, is basically making and succeeded at making an immortality stew, stew so indistinguishable from a regular stew that he just, like, had to have the alchemic chemical, like... This isn't, like, hydrogen peroxide and stuff. This is actual, like, assumed meat and stuff. Well, okay. Alchemy, according to Western tradition, is led to gold. Alchemy, maybe according to East Eastern tradition, has more of a biological aspect. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about it. Oh, I'm sure so there's like... fruits and berries and crap in there, too. Oh, okay. So fruits and berries and magic and stuff. Yeah. Fruits and berries and magic and, like, the liver. I don't a... know. Another version of uh, Hey. Her name is Hey. <laughs> hey, what's her face? Hey, hey. Hey, Shang hey. Li Shang Shen. Shang oh, yeah. Shen. She ate a rock. 
<laughs> so these people don't really care about what their food is really at during this time period. This was pre human taste. It was like the fifties where they gelled everything and I <laughs> thought this was a great food opportunity. It's, I don't know. It's really you have to eat the moral of the story is you have to eat something in order to be immortality. So just eat everything. Yeah. <laughs> or die of poison. Or die of poison or be too stubborn. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so this is how he begins his life, and that's hilarious. So, um, so he 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 falls into this on accident of being an immortal, and he's like, "Well, immortal people are are saintly, so that's what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna learn learn magic." And he does somewhere along the way, he ha- gets more magic, or he gets magic from the potion. I'm not sure, but he has magic now, and um. So he gets magic and does, like, good for the poor and helps young families uh-huh. and with and rides thousands of miles on his magic donkey and just, like, travels around and helps people, like as a, you do. Like a sort of Bacchus or whatever the heck the guy is with the donkey? Of the, of I don't know. He's just, very, he's just very helpful and has a lot of magic. Oh, okay. So he, all of this helpfulness, like, attracts the attention of the emperor. And the emperor's like, oh, I really like this guy. He's super cool. I want him to join my government. So, because <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah. So he uh, he sends this these emissaries to 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 go to Zhango's house and invite him to join the government. And <laughs> Zhango <laughs> Zhango sprouts maggots and dies. I'm sorry. What? He sprouts maggots and dies. W- wait. He's immortal. Yeah. Okay. You got it. But he sprouts maggots and kind of plays dead. Oh, oh, okay, so he's just like, (laughs) wait, so the government shows up. He's like, can't get me, I'm dead. (laughs) What a horrible, like, uh, okay, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the things you're saying. (laughs) I think he sprouts maggots and dies when he sees, like, the emissaries coming so that they come upon him and he's a dead man. Or something like that. Oh. So, like, the emissaries go back and they go, he dead. (laughs) <laughs> he dead. And, no, you can't. No. And 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 the emperor is like, oh. donkey dead. <laughs> and the and the emperor is like, oh, I am sad. I didn't get this guy, except for he comes back to life, obviously, because this was a ruse. Mm-hmm. And he goes and continues helping people as he did before. <laughs> With well, the mustache on. <laughs> and his em- donkey has a mustache too. And after a while, the emperor knows. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> He ain't dead. Look at him. He's helping that poor guy. Hey, wait I a minute. Him. I could see him with my kingly binoculars. <laughs> Where is this king? I don't, yeah. This emperor. Anyway, oh, the emperor. sitting in his palace looking at things and going, eh. Wait a minute. Anyway, so he's like, emperor's like, oh, that, that, like, that, that, uh, that, that group I sent. <laughs> He must got spooked or something, and that was too big a showy. So maybe if I ask more subtly, he will come and join my government. Mm -hmm. And so, so, guys, and he bursts into flames. So, 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 so. Okay. So Zhang Zhang Gao has a friend named Fei Wu, and the emperor goes to Fei Wu and goes, "Hey, can you talk your buddy into joining my government?" Mm -hmm. And he's like. Okay, and Fei Wu is like, sure. And so Fei Wu is, is this the first time in the story that Fei Wu has been introduced at all, or did I just yeah, they it? we just like all of a sudden there's a new character now. Uh, okay. Anyway, so Fei Wu goes to Zhang Gao and starts like, hey, you know what? The emperor uh, he really wants you to join his government. <laughs> and Zhang Wu, uh, I mean Zhang Gao, sprouts maggots and dies again. <laughs> Not necessarily with maggots. I think he goes. <laughs> And goes like peels <laughs> over. maggots and dies. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the, 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 I, I'd rather that be the canon, but okay, he just chokes and dies. Yeah, just kind of dead. Okay. And then Fei Wu's like, "Oh no! It was such an awful proposition that my friend just keeled over." It was a novel proposition. Awful, such an awful. Oh, okay. So Fei Wu is like sad and and like laments. That he ever brought up the matter, and so Zhang Gao gets up, it gets better, and he goes like, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, like he these. said, he set some kind of no oxygen to the brain record. 
Obviously. Anyway, yeah. but he gets up, and he's fine, and he forgives him. And, like, after a time of the Emperor just kind of needling him and needling him and needling him. <laughs> Many maggots later. In, in weird maggoty ways. <laughs> um, he goes, okay, at least I'll visit with the guy, and as long as I just don't join the government, I'm, I'll, I'll visit with the guy, and maybe he'll get bored of me and move on to the next thing. Anyway, so Zhang Gao uh, goes to visit the emperor and does his, like, magic old man shtick mm. of, like, doing magic tricks and talking, but he, like, carefully omits talking about himself at all. He talks about maybe the land or something. Hmm. And, um, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed He that. tries not to talk about himself or talk about how he, any of his, like, secrets of immortality or magic, and really probably oh. just kind of... Oh, okay. ...shunts the conversation elsewhere if the conversation never comes to him. Okay. And the emperor notices, because he wants to know this guy. He wants to have this guy, and, like, emperor in, in his little, little, uh, council or whatever he yeah. wanted him for. <laughs> it wasn't specific. We, we didn't look up the government structure. He just like he 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 didn't have a job in mind. He just wanted the guy. I don't know. <laughs> I wanna. <laughs> I want the long live man. <laughs> so the emperor he goes. Uh, I'm gonna get pushy again. And he's like he 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 gets his he's rather than trying to go to um, Zhang Gao for the information because that's coming up nothing yeah. he goes to like his one of his own magicians that he has so maybe he wanted Zhang Gao for another magician I don't know um, or like monk thing I don't know it's magician or monk or something hmm. and this sure it's monk fun. Yi Fashon I'm shortening to Fashon because that's hilarious um, Fashion? Yeah <laughs> said Okay, I can tell you a secret, but I will die after, because I'm not supposed to tell the secret, because it's sacred. I love how these stories just ping-pong from place to, from <laughs> plot point to plot point. Okay, so the ma magician is like, okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> but after I die, the only way for me to come back to life is if you go and ask for his forgiveness after I've told you this stuff for being, <laughs> for prying. Whose forgiveness? The emperor's forgiveness? No, the emperor, he's being told, um... Fashan is talking to the emperor oh. and telling the emperor that the emperor has to ask for forgiveness for the secret prying stuff from Zhao Gao. Oh, okay. So, oh no, it's not Zhao Gao, Zhang Go. The immortal. So, the emperor's like, do it. And so, Fashan begins to tell the emperor some of the secrets and then becomes a blood sprinkler and dies. But Okay. Before Keep he even it. gets anything good out. So it's like, I didn't even get anything from that. He starts to talk, I think he like gets as far as, the world is chaos and bleh, and he dies. Um, Not a very good secret. Yeah, no. So, so the emperor has to go to Zhang Gao to beg for forgiveness in the most forgive me -est way possible with super humbleness by taking off his hat and 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 shoes. Oh shoot. And his emperor too. Yeah. And he's like, "Forgive me. This is my fault that my friend died." And Jango was like, "Yeah, he was about to tell a bunch of like world secrets, so duh, he died." And he's like, "Please, can you bring him back to life?" Fine. And so he spits water on Fashan's face and Fashan comes back to life and the emperor's like, "Well, I'm sick of this shit." So he stops bothering him now from then on. And then he can go about his business without the Emperor being a busybody, annoying thing. Long live man, go free. <laughs> yeah. No more bother, important man. And that's his biggest plot story. There's others, I assume. Oh, there's. I'm sure there's others and others with the actual immortals doing things together. Mm -hmm. But these are like origin stories. Oh, okay. But that, so that's the, that's the biggest one. That's Boy, a, that character's coming out the gate left and right. There was a monk and a friend. Well, it's a whole, like, tradition. It It's not like a short parable. These are big, important, uh, legendary and historical, in some cases, figures. Hmm. I thought the donkey would play more into that, you know? Yeah, he's just there to be ridden on and being magic. Yeah. So the magic, I like. I was expecting the magic At least donkey for to this. do stuff. I'm sure that I mean the donkey might have done stuff in like 
other all eight of them together stories that I haven't read yet. Mm-hmm. I only got the little excerpt of their little character blurbs in my little textbook, and then I went and dig into each individual one, and I'm sure there's a big old mess that I'm not even touching on <laughs> yet. Okay, so we'll have to wait for the Taoist Justice League thing crossover later. With booze. With booze. <laughs> yeah, okay, there's there's this big thing about them being party hardy. <laughs> the cool Justice League. Yeah, Tiny and I haven't Justice written, like, considering all of their origin stories, I'm like, yeah, booze doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Give poor Barf Noodle Girl a, a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was an okay story. I expected more donkey. Eight out of ten. If you want more donkey, watch Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> well, till next time. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done these, and that's the first thing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>